This is a demonstration on how to use the Ole Baker mainspring winder. To remove the end cap from the mainspring barrel, if you tap lightly with a hammer on this end of the arbor, it pops off the cap. You can see the main spring there. With the Ole Baker winder, you have several winding keys. So find the right key to fit onto the winding arbor. Place that into the winder. Then also you have a series of sleeves and you need to find the right size sleeve that will fit inside the barrel giving yourself enough room so that when this spring is fully wound you can slip the sleeve over and all the way seated into the back of the barrel. The sleeve goes over first, the barrel goes on to the winding key, put in the back and lock it down tight, and then with a gloved hand You hold onto the barrel and you wind the spring fully. There's a ratchet here, set up the ratchet, it allows you to wind. You wind it up enough so the sleeve can fit in. And then Click the ratchet to the other direction and unwind. Once the pressure is off, then you can remove it and you have the spring is now captured in the sleeve and you can dislodge it from the pin on the barrel. And once it's dislodged, it comes out. Now to remove the spring from the sleeve, you have the winding arbor in position, put the tailstock back, clamp it down, and you have a series of rods here. Once you get this rod onto the end of the spring hole, then you can wind it and remove the sleeve, then reverse the ratchet and unwind the spring. Till all the tension's gone, slide back the tailstock and there's your spring removed so it can be cleaned and serviced. To reassemble the spring, you reverse the process. You have the pin holding the end of the spring and the center winding arbor is in place. Wind it up. I've re-lubricated 
the spring so there's some oil squeezing out of here that I'll remove. And wind it far enough until the sleeve fits back over the spring. Leave a little bit exposed here so that the spring bottoms out all the way into the barrel and reverse the ratchet. So you have So now you've recaptured the spring into the sleeve. And the next step is to reinsert it into the barrel. And you need to hook the hole in the spring into that pin. Once it's back in place, put it back onto the winding arbor, onto the headstock. Secure the tailstock. Wind it enough that you can loosen the sleeve. And then you can reverse and let off the tension. Spring is once again captured into the spring barrel. Put the cap back on and tap it in place. You're all done. For more information, visit GameRoomRepair.com.